Yeah, he's a good dog. Also seeing how much affection matters to him because some dogs are all about affection and it's a really healthy reward uh, throughout the process. Some dogs, they're not a fan of affection, but you can cultivate it. Some dogs are just not into it at all and that's okay. There's a lot of other avenues to reward them with. And then you have some dogs who really, really want affection and it's all they care about, but it's actually a really unhealthy reward. And if you're utilizing affection a lot with those dogs, you actually make them digress very quickly um, and it can lead to biting, aggression, high anxiety, separation anxiety, and all sorts of other issues. So you have to really pay attention to is affection moving them along or is affection making them digress, making them more anxious, making them more nervous? You know, each time you take them into the vet, you touch and, and hold and, and pet the whole time, but each vet visit gets harder and harder. That's probably telling you that affection is, even though it might calm the dog in that particular moment, is likely making the whole situation worse uh, along the way. If you have a dog that's you can't pet and it gets highly hyper every single time you try to pet it and all that sort of stuff, that that's a sign that affection's ideally not great as a reward for that dog. Um, so you, you have to pay close attention to the dog's personality and their particular behavioral issues on whether or not you are adding to the pros or the cons list while working with them.